Well, hello, hello, hello. Good night, everyone. Good night, good night, good night to all of my beautiful peoples. How are you doing? Oh, my Lord. I'm... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Okay, good. So we don't want that echo. Now we're good to go. <laughs> now we're good to go. So yes. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, greetings, greetings, greetings. Tonight is amazing. Tonight is an amazing night. Let me just let me just tell you all one time. Tonight is an amazing night. I'm super excited. Wow, 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 wow. I'm so pumped. I'm so ready. I'm so ready. Tonight is all about empowering you. Yes, I actually themed it Empower Her. Empower Her. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm going to have to take deep breaths tonight. But listen, 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 listen. I'm getting ready to welcome you all. As you come in, please let me know where you're coming from. If this is your first time on a Monday Night Live with me and the Anne-Marie Almond coaching family, please let me know it's your first time. I don't know what I want to pull out something and do some extra special greeting or something, but I want to be able to welcome you. I want to be able to just welcome you, welcome you, welcome you to this uh, family where we come together every week and uh, just encourage each or the other. I love the community spirit that we have. I just absolutely love the vibe. The energy is amazing. I'm so, I'm always encouraged. And I'm so, I always look forward to coming. Yes. So tonight is the night. And we are going to be getting into some stuff, okay? Get into so it's so super super excited. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna start warming up the space in a few minutes. Just give everybody else a little chance to come in. Once they come in, we're gonna get into it. Let me pull this a little closer. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hope you're hearing me loud and clear. Yes, 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 yes. Loud and clear. And let me put this on. Wonderful. So while you're coming in, let me talk to those of you that are looking at the replay. All right. And uh, if this is your first time meeting me, um, being a part of uh, our coaching family, we want to welcome you. And thank you for stopping by. Thank you for checking out this video. And I'm Anne-Marie, and I, um, as the name implies, I'm the founder of Anne-Marie Almond Coaching, and I'm a Christian life coach. And so I share with you uh, wisdom from, from the Word of God, wisdom from the Word of God. And uh, I am so, so super excited because I know that... Uh, the wisdom of God is what we need to be successful in life, period, period, okay? And so you have come, um, uh, stopped by, and I'm, I know you're going to be blessed. Enjoy the video. Enjoy the, the, the community. Uh, but you really want to be a part of the live where you can have your questions answered live, where you can participate in the conversation live. So the link for our upcoming live is in the is in the description for the video on YouTube. So please uh, make sure you secure that. And every Monday night at uh, 8 p.m., we do our Monday Night Live where we cover various topics, um, all with the aim of empowering uh, women and men as well, but, prim but primarily women. And uh, you can get to be a part of our community. We'd love to have you. So welcome, 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 welcome. Uh, some great now, my peoples, let's get into roll call. Roll 
on. Let me see who is on. Let me see. Sonia McLean, you're rich. <laughs> welcome, 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 welcome to Monday Night Live. Awesome, 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 pleasant evening. Listen, listen, and greetings as well. Cindy Sammy, welcome, 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 welcome to Monday Night Live. Listen, you guys gotta tell me where you're coming from. Tell me where you're coming from. All right, where are you coming from? Let me go again. Let me go again. Uh, let me start. Welcome, Tess. Tesselka, welcome. Tesselka Francis, welcome, 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 welcome. Sharufa, welcome. Sharufa is in the house. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Hey, Sharufa girl, how are you doing? Hey, 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 Roxanne, how are you doing, Tobago, in the Welcome, 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 welcome to Bego. Yay, that's my place. That's my place. You know, I was having a counseling session this uh this no today's Monday, last week, right? And uh, uh the 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 female said, I, I, how am I going to know? Because I was I was sharing with them, you know, you, you need to know if this is the person that God is joining you to. Right, because that's the key. All of the other things will rest upon that. If this is the person that God is joining you to, then you know we can start talking about all the other things. But if this is not the person, then you know what are we talking about? And she was like, But how am I gonna know my person? I, I want to know my person. <laughs> Listen to me, it was so precious. She wants to know her person. Listen. Tobago is my place. I know my place. So oh, welcome, 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 welcome. Hey, oh, my darling. Good night, good night, good night. Buko in the house. Buko Tobago in the house. Buko is the place where you get all the crab race and uh, the goat race and uh, all of the beautiful things around Easter time. Welcome, 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 Buko. Sharufa from Tuna Puna. There you go, Sharufa. Hey, you're in the building. You're on the inside. That's what we talk about. Listen to me. Anybody who's not on the inside tonight, they're real outside. They're real outside. I'm telling you. They're real outside. So, right here, take a pause, you know. Make sure your friend is on the inside. Make sure you're WhatsApping, you're texting, you're calling. Even if you had to go out and come back in, go out and come back in. Your spot secure on you on the inside. But make sure they're on the inside because tonight is all about empowering her, empowering you, woman. Yeah, woman empowerment tonight. Okay. Lorna Brown Shepherd, Brooklyn. Ooh, 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 ooh. Brooklyn in the house. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Welcome, 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 welcome. Colleen Delfish. Good night, good night. Queens in the house. There's a queen in the house from Queens. Oh, my time is running out. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Good night, good night, good night, good night, good night. Uh, Rhonda Robinson, so you're rich, oh. Hey, hey, welcome, 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 welcome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's go. Monica Thomas, greetings. Welcome, Monica. Welcome, 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 welcome. Woo -hoo. Sheba, hither. I am hither. <laughs> thou in Brooklyn, thou artist from Brooklyn. <laughs> From Brooklyn, oh, the woman, the King G, the KJV woman is in the house. Welcome, 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 welcome. Jonah from Brooklyn in the house. Welcome, 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 welcome. welcome. Sonia from Trinidad. Oh, welcome, 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 Sonia. Hey, hey, hey. Brooklyn, send this Sammy from Bronx is in the house. Boom, boom. Woo -hoo. Tonight, Rhonda is coming from Tobago. Her place, oh, so yes, oh, know your place. I think somebody needs to drop that in the chat right away. We're starting off hot, hot, hot tonight. Whoa, let me see what else we got. Oh, my time for greeting is up. Let's go. Lisa, Lisa is in the house. Where's some peace, my darling, my daughter. Woo, 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 woo. 
Bless you, bless you, bless you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sandra Antone, pastor, the woman of God is in the house from Atlanta. Welcome, Atlanta. I'm sure Atlanta was hot today. So we're going to say hot Atlanta because Brooklyn was mighty hot, mighty fine. We love it like this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Michelle, you're little, but you're rich and you're ready. Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome. Let me see. Catherine, the woman of God from Canaan is in the house. Welcome, 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 welcome. Denise in the house. Good night, Denise. Woo, woo, woo. Welcome, 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 welcome. Cheryl Forbes, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, hey, hey. Jackie Ritz from Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Somebody shout out Brooklyn. Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Michelle, know your place, girl. That's it. Know your place. Oh, hey, know your people. Know your place. That's good, Sheba. That's it. That's it. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Janelle, Canada is in the house. Welcome, 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 Janelle. Welcome, Janelle. Marsha Spencer. Oh, Marsha from Trinidad. Welcome, 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 Trinidad in the house. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Super, super excited. Yolanda. Ooh, Amoroso. Henry, I love it. Yolanda Amoroso. I love it. So precious. Amoroso. A little Spanish. Yeah, I love it. Amoroso. Yolanda. Henry Amoroso. I love Amoroso. From the big oh, my place. Oh, welcome, welcome, welcome. My people and my place. Oh, I love y'all so much. Mm -hmm. This is what we usually do, but I just feel like doing it at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Ah, love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, guess what? Tonight, we're going to get into it. Now, I know we have more persons on. That's okay. We want to welcome you. Welcome you. Welcome you. We're so happy to have you. Once again, and I'm Anne-Marie, and I'm the founder of Anne-Marie Almon Coaching, and I am a Christian life coach and a relationship queen. Yes. <laughs> so guess what? Guess what? Uh, we are going to begin, you know, sharing I'm going to be on screen with you tonight again. I thought last week was just amazing. We talked about financial growth as a, an area of life that you must absolutely seek to grow in. Yes. Once again, most of us here are Christian women. And uh, I'm telling you, you must grow spiritually. But spiritual growth... Uh, uh, and no financial growth uh, don't go together. You see what I'm saying, honey? You've got to grow financially as well. And there's something about us and uh, especially Christians uh, where we, we neglect uh, certain areas of our lives uh, because we think, uh, uh, you know, it's just faith. No, it's not just faith. It's Faith in the knowledge of God and that which he has for you. Yes, it is faith in the grace of God, what Jesus has already done for you. So that's why James could have said faith with our works is dead. All right. So here's that we got work to do. We've got work to do so that we can be financially free. And it, listen to me, you've got to work on, I, I shared with you two weeks ago, five areas of life that you must seek to work at. And you can do those five areas at the same time. You've got to pay attention to your physical health. You gotta pay attention to your health. You've gotta pay attention to your body. Uh, you can't be praying and fasting, praying and fasting all day, all night. Um, don't eat properly. Don't exercise. Don't take care of your body. Because I'm telling you, I'm telling you, honey, 
Yes, you're going to have a problem. All right. So you got to take care of your, 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 your physical body. You've got to take care of your relationship with God. That's your spiritual aspect of your life. Yes. You've got to pay attention to your spiritual growth. You must grow spiritually. Yeah. This is no if, ands, but, maybe this is a necessity. This is an absolute must. Yes. So you got to take those actions that will cause you to grow spiritually, grow deeply. You cause your roots to grow deep and strong. So you can, you can, you can be, be resilient, the resilient woman that you are. Yes. Yes. You could, you could, you could weather the storms of life. Yeah. Because challenges are going to come. You're going to face obstacles. You're going to have to deal with some adversities. Life is going to show up and just blindside you. And you can't just lie down and take it. You're going to have to be able to get back up again. Yes. And so you've got to have that spirit, you know, that, that, that strength, that inner fortitude that comes from God. Yeah. Comes from faith in God. Yes. To cause you to bounce back up. Right, you gotta pay attention and grow spiritually. You've gotta grow mentally. Be a lifelong learner. Yes, I, 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 you wanna you, listen to me. I'm praying that something click in your spirit. Okay, I learned this lesson lesson many many years ago. I was at a women's conference, and one of the speakers, Apostle Gillian, said it. You must be a lifelong learner. My life has never been the same. I heard it. It registered in my spirit, man, and I left that place a changed woman. And I'm before you. Yes, as a living testimony of what being a lifelong learner. Yes, can do for you. Okay? So pay attention and grow mentally, grow emotionally. Yeah? But listen to me. Emotional intelligence is key, critical, and crucial to you having the ability to maneuver yourself in various types of relationships. And you can have long-lasting relationships, but relationships all operate based on principles. They're relationship principles. When you operate by those principles, you have successful relationships. When you violate those principles, your relationships fall apart. Yes, so you have to grow emotionally, all right? And then you must grow financially. We talked with that. We dedicated a whole life last week for that. But I'm telling you tonight, tonight is a ne an absolute necessity. And I'm so happy you're here. All right. Once again, this might be a final uh, uh, opportunity to reach out to a friend, reach out to a coworker, reach out to a neighbor, let them know the live is happening. It's a free live, doesn't cost them anything. They're probably already home. You know, they can tune into this and have a life changing experience. Okay. Now, um, let me just jump into it. Remember to stick with us to the end. We have do have Q and A at the end, and of course, I always end with prayer. You are going to be prayed for, so stick around um, with us tonight. Then also, uh, please be engaging in the chat. Uh, all right, uh, this is where the magic happens in the chat, in the communication. Please be kind to each other in the communication. Yeah, in the chat as you communicate with each other. Be loved loving, be gentle, be caring. Okay? Yes. Be concerning. Yes. Be considerate. Yes, please. And thank you. I appreciate it. Let me give you a hand of applause for your wonderful, good behavior. Oh, yes. All right, good. So let's get into it because tonight um, it's all about Empower Her, Unlocking Financial Freedom for Women. Um, in today's world that's rapidly evolving, women are increasingly taking charge of their financial futures, breaking barriers and shattering stereotypes. Yet, yet, despite remarkable progress, many women still face unique challenges on the path to economic empowerment. 
from the gender pay gap to systematic barriers in accessing capital and resources. Women often encounter hurdles that hinder their ability to achieve financial freedom. But here's the good news. The power to change our financial destiny lies within us. And so tonight, this is more than a webinar. It's a rallying cry for women to embrace their financial potential, seize opportunities, and chart a course toward lasting prosperity. So throughout this webinar, we'll embark on a journey of discovery and empowerment exploring practical strategies, insightful perspective, and uh, inspiring stories. You can share yours in the chat. I'll share some of mine as we go along. Yes, and others as well, right? Uh, as we, as they, these stories from women who have successfully navigated the road to financial freedom. I'm gonna even share with you some stories from the Bible. I want you to stay with me tonight. I'm so, so super excited. I'm feeling the anointing of God on my life for this webinar, okay? So from mastering what we talked about uh, the last two weeks, uh, yes, conscious spending to investing and launching entrepreneurial ventures, uh, Yes, women have been, listen to me, making significant inroads. They have been negotiating from, for equal pay. Listen to me, and tonight, uh, uh, my goal is to equip, equip you with knowledge, uh, with some of the tools, uh, and of course, the confidence to take control of your financial destiny. I want us to know that empowerment it's not just about accumulating wealth. This is not just what tonight is about, yes? But it is about leveraging our resources to create positive change in our own lives, our community, our communities, and the world at large. So my goal is that there will be an unlocking. Somebody drop that in the chat. Unlock. Unlock. <laughs> Unlock. Yes, there will be an unlocking of financial freedom within you. Come on, put it. Unlock. Unlock. Whatever was locked up. Unlock. Yes, put it in caps if you need to. Unlock. Let's make a statement tonight. Yes, whatever was locked up, your financial freedom that was locked up must be unlocked tonight. I, 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 I announce it. I decree it. I declare it over your life. I prophesy over your life. Unlock. Unlock. You have been on a financial lockdown for too long. I've come for you tonight. In the name of Jesus, uh, unlock. You must unlock. You must be set free to prosper financially and in every other area of your life. Uh, you must prosper financially. Oh, yes, you will. And you will prosper financially. So as we unlock financial freedom for ourselves, uh, this is what this is about tonight. Uh, and, and, and here's, ooh, here's how powerful this is. When you unlock financial freedom for you, what you need to recognize is that you empower the next generation of women. Ah. You empower the next generation of women yeah, to, 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 to be financially free, to dream bigger, to achieve more, and to defy the limits of what is possible. For too long, we have been told what's possible. For too long, others have told us what's possible and we have believed them. We have believed them. Somebody need to say no more. It's a rallying cry tonight. No more. 
Yes, you got to decide your financial destiny after God. And we know the heart of God is for you to prosper in every area of your life. That includes your financial destiny. It is, it is already set by God. It is already written in his book concern, concerning you. Mm -hmm. Yes. And therefore, therefore, you must know that the power to walk in the level of financial freedom that is yours is within you. You have it within you. And tonight, I want to share some things with you that will listen to me. Uh, that, hmm, 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 hmm. Okay, Anne-Marie. Deep breaths. Yes, that's how passionate I feel about this. Yes? You must defy the odds. You must defy the limitations that have been set. Your mother, your grandmother, your great-grandmother, no more. Not you, not you, not you, not on your watch. Yes, yes. And after you, your daughters. Yes, your granddaughters, your nieces, your nephew, your nephews. Yes, your, 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 those that come after you, my goodness, will benefit from you. They will benefit from you. That's the mindset. That's the mindset. So, whether you are a professional tonight, uh, whether you, you're an uh, aspiring entrepreneur, yes, or you just want to embark on your financial journey, we are here for you. We are here for you. Yes, Empower Her is here to support and uplift you every step of the way. Together, let's break barriers. Somebody put in the chat, break break come on it's a prophetic night break every financial barrier break i know you guys have never seen me uh in my in my in my preaching uh, prophetic mode on monday night live uh, but i'm bringing it tonight break it must break yeah 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 come on say break every financial barrier in my life break i told you i was a christian life coach break i'm an anointed life coach break the spirit of the lord is upon me break it must break put it in the chat every financial limitation break ah uh, yeah 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 every financial barrier break come on put it in the chat break we are breaking those barriers tonight yes we are defying all of the expectations you're expected to fail do you know that the system is designed for you to fail the system is designed let me tell you i can tell you how many black women yep uh, doing fantastic work, doing fantastic business, but they will not be funded. They will not be funded. I support every black, listen, I support every black business woman who is doing her thing and with no support, but they will not stop. That's what I'm talking about. They, you listen to me, you, when, you, when you decide that you are going to make it, everything comes uh, 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 around you to make it to, you know you you don't need their funding to make it i'm telling you yeah i'm telling you many have gone ahead of us and have done it and if they refuse to fund us man we'll fund ourselves we'll fund ourselves and we'll fund one another yes we will yes we will let me tell you something yeah and so it's important for us to understand this Okay, we're breaking barriers, we're defying the expectations, and we're unlocking the boundless potential that lies within each and every one of us. All right, so get ready to be inspired tonight, get ready to be empowered, and get ready to be transformed because we're not playing with this thing. This is our destiny that is being messed with. You have to understand that. And it's not just your destiny, it's every other girl after you, every other little girl after you, every other sister after you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So let's embark on this journey. Who's ready? You know, you know. I think I'm, I think I'm ready already. But we need you to say you are ready. Drop it in the chat if you're ready. I'm about to go in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start when, 
with some uh, surveys to let you know that I'm not just talking off the top of my head. Yeah, what I'm saying to you has been proven. It has been studied. This is systematic stuff I'm sharing with you, right? You could go check it. You could Google whatever you need to do, research whatever you need to do. But it is so, let me see who's ready. Let me see who's ready. Let me see who's ready. Sheba is ready. <laughs> Erica is ready. Yes, Carleen, I am ready. Wonderful. Denise is ready. Lisa Amoroso is ready. Yes. Yeah, ready, ready. Lisa Amoroso is ready, ready. Yes, yeah, Cheryl Forbes is ready. Uh, uh, Sheba born ready. That's it. Born ready. Sharupa is ready. Deborah is ready. Calberta is ready. Nivia is ready. Lorna is ready. Shalana is ready. Uh, 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 Marsha is ready. Gloria is ready. Annalisa. I love it. Annalisa is ready. Randa is ready. Trisha is ready. My God, Rhonda, we're ready. We're ready. We're just ready. Let me drop it. Let me drop it. Let me drop it. Let's go. All right. Good. Now, let me let me show you some studies. Yes, um, that uh, you know talks about uh, the gender disparities. Uh, yeah, the economic inequalities. Uh, yes, uh, that has been. I want. Should I say perpetrated? Oh, but let me not say that. That woman, yeah, still in 2024 are struggling with modernized world, modernized society. I mean, we got all kinds of inventions and technologies, but women are still in the back. We're still in the back of the room. Let me tell you all, ladies, now is not the time to be shy. Now is not the time to not want to be seen. Now is the time for us to be visible. Yeah, wherever you are, wherever, whatever part of the world you are in. Yeah, you must let your light shine. Now is your time to shine. Now is your time to shine. Oh, I don't want, oh, me. Oh, no, 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 no more. Let your confidence burst out. Break forth. Break forth like the noonday sun. Yes? World Bank study says, yes, a World Bank study titled Gender Equality and Development found that globally, women are more likely than men to live in poverty. The devil is a liar. You have to say, not this sister. You have to say, not this woman, no. I will not live in poverty. The study it has shown, this is a World Bank study, that women are more, and this is across the globe, women are more likely to live in poverty than men. Why? The study attributes several factors, including limited access to education in some places, unemployment or employment opportunities, limited, as well as unequal pay for equal work. Unequal pay for equal work. Let me continue. United Nations Development Program report, yes, has highlighted the persistent gender gap in economic empowerment. It's in their report. And this is what they have found that women are often concentrated in low paying and uh, the, in, the informal sector jobs, yes? Facing barriers to accessing higher paying and leadership positions. So what that, does that mean? Because of higher paying jobs uh, and uh, leadership position in companies and so forth and so on, yes, um, is so, has become or is so difficult for women to uh, attain to than they are in the lower paying jobs and the informal sector jobs within the community. Yes. And this, they have found that contributes to their higher likelihood of experiencing poverty compared to men. 
Then a research done by the International Labour Organization has, has uh, uh, on gender disparities in the labor market reveals that women are often overrepresented in vulnerable forms of employment, such as part-time and temporary work. Somebody put in the chat for me, please. Permanent. 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 Come on, let's go. Let's roll tonight. Permanent. Yes? We are women. Women. Yes? Please, we're vulnerable. And sometimes these are the women with five children. These are the women with three children. Or even two or even one. And you don't have a permanent job. So at point in time, you can be on the streets. At point in time, you're out of work because it's a temporary job, right? And uh, you, you're vulnerable, you and your two children. Somebody put permanent. Permanent. Please, in the chat, all right? Um, this is a research done by the International Labour Organization. This is where women are in the temporary job market, right? One more, one more study. Yes, um, and uh, this is a study done on unpaid care work. So women, we know we are care takers and caregivers, all right? Um, but here's what this study showed. That there is a significant burden of un unpaid care work borne by women. So we, women carry this burden. They care, but they don't get paid for it. They don't get compensated for the work that they do. So this includes domestic chores and the caregiving responsibilities, right? So, so, <laughs> ladies, 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 do you know that being a housewife is a full-time job and you should get paid for it. So imagine you, you are married, you, you and your husband, you have four children, you don't work outside of the home, you work, you work, you're working. Yeah, you are, right? You're working within the home. You are the caretaker, you are the caregiver, you, you, you do the home, the housework. Fine, beautiful, no problem. That's not the issue. But when you want to go to the mall, you got no money. When you want to buy yourself something, you want to go do your nails, you got no money. When you want to go do your hair, you got no money. When you want to take care of, do some kind of selfie thing, just to go get a massage. You have no money. <clears throat> so you are working, but you're not being compensated. You are working. You need to be, you should be compensated. And that's why you have to negotiate your salary. You have to negotiate some money, some me money. Women must make their own money. If you are not making your own money in the sense that you are working outside of the home and you are working in the home, you need some money. Mula, yes, you do. So that form, let that be a part of your negotiations with your spouse who is paying you. Every week, every fortnight, there should be a transfer into your account. So if you want to go to the mall, you got to ask nobody anything. It's either that or you have the card with the pin. Come on, somebody say the pin, pin, P-I-N, P-I-N, <laughs> pin, I need the pin. Don't give me the card. I need the pin, P-I-N. Are you seeing what I'm saying? Are you seeing what I'm saying? This is a study that was done. 
of women who work within the home, they are caregivers, but they do not get paid for their caring. They have nothing. And that, my friends, is the foundation for all kinds of abuse. All kinds of abuse. All kinds of advantage. All kinds of abuse. You, as a woman, were not created by God for any kind of abuse. I am so sorry. God did not, absolutely not, create you to be abused. In any, not, in not emotional abuse, not physical abuse, not psychological abuse, not mental abuse, not, 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 not financial. Did I say financial abuse? Not financial abuse. Did I say financial? Not financial abuse. None of it. None. Okay. All right. Good. So now. We have a problem. How, how can you? You know, I was talking to one of my daughters today and we were talking about systematic barriers. And I preached a message about two years ago um, at one of our branch churches about systematic root, about root systems and how the Lord gave me a revelation about root system. When root, different plants, the, the roots intertwine and they get so engrossed in each other that you cannot separate the wheat from the tears. And Jesus said something powerful. He said, let them grow together because there's absolutely no way. They're, in, they're intertwined. You couldn't separate the weed from the tear because the root system had grown together. But the wheat will still produce wheat and the tear will still produce tears. Okay, so the wisdom is let them grow together. And when the wheat produces the wheat, then we'll just take the wheat, right? And the tears will just destroy the tears. But we got the wheat is what we planted for, what we sold for in the first place, all right? But the, the, the thing with the, the roots joined together, that's where we have systematic um, uh, institutions that uh, are so engrossed in whether it's racism or or financial equality that you 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 cannot you cannot change it yes but you can change you may not be able to change a system but you there's nothing stopping you from changing you see what i'm saying and that is what we with them as a, a systematic problematic system all right, I'm, 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 I'm not making sense, but that's fine. All right, so here's, here's what I want us to do. Let me see the time. Good. I am going to share with you at least 10 reasons real quickly, right? Why you should make more money. Why you should be financially free. Okay, I'm talking to you. I'm not talking to the system. I'm talking to you. All right, write them down. I know I didn't say to you up top. Get your notebook, get your pen, get your favorite be beverage. But you want, probably want to go grab your notebook because if you've been on the live, you know you never come on the live without your notebook because you, there's going to be some stuff said and it's on purpose. It's to empower you. It's to help you. All right. It's to give you new knowledge, superior knowledge even so that you can be transformed because we only get transformed when we receive superior knowledge. All right. So here's the thing. I'm going to share with you 10 reasons why you need to make more money, why you need to be financially free. Okay, number one, when you make more money, yeah, higher incomes, more money is coming into you, it enables you, yeah, to achieve greater financial independence and security. And it provides you with the resources to support yourself and others. Support yourself and your family. Support yourself and your children. Support yourself and your church. Support yourself and your community, yes? Support yourself and even your visions, your, your, your dreams, your goals, your aspirations. That's what more money will do for you. Number two, 
When you are increasing in your earnings or earning potential, yes, it can help lift you out of poverty. Yes? Because often, very often, a significant portion of our income, or a woman's income, you know, um, go towards uh, the family's uh, well-being, including education, healthcare, and, nutri and nutrition. So the more income you can generate, yes, is the more you can lift your family out of poverty. You can come out of poverty and lift others out of family, of, out of poverty, sorry. Okay, so that's number two. You can reduce poverty. Reduce poverty. Poverty is not a nice thing. Okay, number three, you can close the gender wealth gap. There's a huge gap. There's another a, a study that I looked at some years ago. When I do women's conferences, I share it. I think almost every women's conference I've done, I've shared it. It's heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. And I don't even feel I'm very, I'm, I'm very emotional right now. Very emotional. Yes. Listen, listen. Women, women typically accumulate less wealth than men due to factors such as the gender pay gap interruptions in employment yes for caregiving responsibilities yeah higher higher incomes can help narrow this gap and promote greater economic equality between genders number four career advancement higher salaries can incentivize women to pursue career advancement opportunities and negotiate for better wages and benefits thus fostering professional growth and fulfillment yes you must become a boss negotiator you know i went to um i went to the mall today and uh, um i went to to see something was happening with my lenses on my on my glasses um, and uh, I said, let me go and find out what they can do if they can remove the spots I'm beginning to see on my lens. And uh, when the guy took my glasses, he said to me, your lens are peeling. He said, there's a thin film over your lens and it's, you know, it's peeling. I'm like, oh my God. All right, good. So this means I got to get at least new lens. I love my frame. I'm going to just get some new lens. And so they came back with this. Listen to me, ridiculous amount for the lens, all right? I said, I said, um, because whenever I go, this one woman for years, she's work, worked at this place and she's been, um, always attends to me when I go. Um, so I said, you know, I've been coming here for maybe the last 20 years or so. I go to the, I'm, I'm lawyer like that. And she said, yes. I said, I need to get a greater discount because they was giving me a little, maybe $100, $120 off the lens or whatever. I said um, to her, I appreciate it, but right now I need to get uh, 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 some more discount. I need to get at least $200 off. And I told her what I wanted. I told her what I wanted, beautiful, nicely. And um so she said, but I did give you an extra discount already. I said, could you, could you, could you give me $200 off? So she said, I oh, know. I said, and as I said that a man came out from the back and he looked like he was the boss. I said, maybe he's the boss. Maybe you can ask him. So he walked past us and then she went to him and then she came back and said, okay, you can get the 200 um, dollars off. I said, thank you very much. I really, really appreciate it. I say, right now I'm not, you know, I didn't come for this. I just came to check to see if they can get the film off my glasses and now I have to get a whole new frame and whatever, whatever, whatever. What am I saying? You need to be a boss negotiator. Yeah. When it's time for your salary, you need to negotiate your salary. You need to do your homework. Find out what the men are being paid for the same job and don't let them give you less. Don't let them give you less. You see, you've got to know what you are worth. Because if you don't know what you are worth, sister, my sister, my sister, if you don't know your value, people will devalue you. 
they would undervalue you. Yes, they will. They will. They're not going to push you up there. They're not going to pay a higher price for you. No, you got to know your worth. You've got to know your worth. You went to school. You studied like everyone else. You got your degree like everyone else. You paid your dues like everyone else. Why don't you get paid like everyone else? Yes. You see what I'm saying? This is 2024, honey. Mm -hmm. You get paid like everyone else. All right? Good. Let's keep going. I don't know what number I at. That's number four. Let me see. I didn't have a number. One, two, three, four. So uh, at number four, we're saying that uh, we need higher salaries. Women, you must negotiate for higher salaries. Okay? Then number one, two, three, four, five. Number five, right? Invest in education. Invest in skill development. Okay? That's a reason. Because I'm telling you, you need to make more money. You need to invest in skill development. If you are able to increase your financial resources, you can invest in your education. Right? And then you are able to enhance your employability and earnings. So, in the long term or in the long run, you put yourself in a better financial position. Everybody's understanding that? Somebody just drop in the chat. I got it. I got it. I got it. Some people, oh, I don't want to go to school. I don't listen. We got to do what we got to do. Amen? You got to do what you got to do. And some of you can do this. Some of you, this is for you. Right? Increase your employability. Increase it. Develop a skill. Work on it. Yeah? You may be into, you may be into a uh, computer or IT, some sort of technology. Hey, take an extra program. Take an extra uh, 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 class. Specialize in something. You understand? Increase your employability. Women. Okay? Remember, ain't nobody just handing us anything, you know? They're not. The system is not designed to hand us anything. That's why you have got to change. You've got to stop begging. You've got to stop begging. You, you've got to stop expecting that just because, you know, I don't know, that they, they won't have mercy on you. No. You see what I'm saying? So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Any woman, any woman who decides I'm going to invest in my education, I'm going to invest in a skill, I'm going to develop myself, yeah, I'm going to make myself more marketable, I'm going to make myself more employable, yes, you stand a better chance in the long term to increase your financial situation and become financially free and secure, okay? Let's go. Next reason why you should make more money, yes? Paying women equally for their work not only recognizes their contributions, but also advances the broader goal of gender equality in society. So here's what I'm saying. You need to promote gender equality. Get in on it. If you have the, uh, 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 the power where you are to make a statement with regarding gender equality, make it. Yes. Uh, um, and, and it's, and you know, I have I have some ideas and some thoughts that flow through me whenever I'm in a situation, whether I'm listening to the news uh, or where women are fighting for equal pay and so forth. You know, I, I don't think it should be handed just because we're probably, let's say, in the same field. But if we're doing the same job, yeah, because I'm playing soccer and you playing soccer don't mean that, you know, and this is just me, you know, you can feel differently about it and that's fine, right? But if we're doing the same job, if we're doing the same nine to five, if we're doing the same things, we're doing the same reports, we're doing the same, uh, managing the same staff, we're doing the same exact thing that you are doing, I'm doing, and you get more than me. No, 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 I don't know. I'm not the kind of person that can accept that. You don't need to kind of be the kind of person that will accept that. So you need to promote it. You understand? And you need to challenge the stereotypes and the discriminatory practices. 
in the workplace. You're working there. You're working there. All right, then let's go. Next reason, the next reason why women should be financially free, why we should make more money, yes, uh, is uh, that uh, when we do, when we do as women, we foster economic growth. Yes, when we increase our earning potential, yes, we contribute to the overall, or we can contribute to the overall economic growth. Yes. Listen to me. When and when let me tell you, when when an economy is growing, when a community is growing, yes, economically, it everybody benefits. Anybody benefits. And that is why it's important for women to prosper. It's important for women. It's important for you, yes, uh, to, 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 to be financially, you know, secure, financially free. Very important, yeah, because then we can support and promote innovation and productivity. We can support each other, yes, uh, in the in the giftings and the callings uh, that we have, yeah, because we are very gifted. Women are gifted. Some of the most gifted people on the planet, for sure, yeah. And we're gifted with all kinds of stuff, yeah. And so we need we need to make more money so that we could support this, yes. Then, here's the next thing. There's another reason why you need to make more money. You need to be able to be financially secure. Yes, financially free. Yep, yeah, is uh, it has to do with your health and well-being, and not just yours. Because remember, we're saying this is not just about us. Yes, it's about others as well. Okay, higher incomes can provide women's access to quality healthcare services. You know, money. You know, money. Do you know <laughs> how many women and men too have died because they could not have afforded better healthcare services? Those healthcare services are available, but for only who could afford it. See, that's why you need to make more money, honey. That's why we need to make more money. Yes. I'm going to let that sit for a minute because this one comes close to home. This one comes close to home. Yes? And where we have to just go wherever, you know, we could afford. But where we could afford, don't have the specialist. What we could afford or where we can afford, don't have the, 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 the technology. Yes? Where we can afford. You see what I'm saying? So it has to do with your health. And we might be doing fine now. We might be doing great now. But God forbid, God forbid. Huh? Yeah. That's why we need to make money. God forbid your child. Uh-huh. God forbid your grandchild. Mm-hmm. That's so close. That's so close. You see what I'm saying? God forbid your loved one, your, most, your favorite niece, your favorite nephew. You ain't got no money. You ain't got nothing. You, you can't contribute nothing. Okay? Listen. Yes, here's it. Can I say, I wonder if I can say this on the people's life. Can I say this? This is just, this is, this is something that I would say, you know, in a closed church service with our members. Because sometimes I can I speak like this to our people. We always find money to bury people. But we don't have money to keep them alive. Yeah? We don't have money to keep them alive. We must have money. We must have money. Come on, put it in the chat. I must have money. I have must must have money. If this is going to be uh, the determining factor between whether I live or die, I need to have money. I need come and put it in the chat, chat, please. I must have money, and I'm not just talking about money to pay your bills every month. Yes, I must have money. I must be financially secure. I must. I, last week we talked about having at least a, a three to six month. Uh, 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 you know. Stash 
God forbid something happens, you're okay. And you know we believe God, so God will perform miracles and give us breakthroughs within that time. But God forbid something happens now. You can't be pulling out the two grain of hair you have in your weave. You can't. You can't be pulling out your, your, your wig. You can't. You can't. <laughs> no, my sister. Need money. Yes, we're Christians. We need money. Yes. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Don't, lack of money causes a lot of people to die prematurely. It will never be your portion. I say it will never be your portion. Lack of money has caused many a people to die prematurely. Many a person to die prematurely. It will not be your portion tonight. We're unlocking that in your spirit. Yes? So let's go. Let's go. Another reason why, another reason why you need to make more money is this. You, are, you can empower future generations. Future. You know, I, I am a pastor, senior pastor, and uh, a senior leader at our uh, ministry. We have several branch churches and so forth and so on. And during the pandemic, during the pandemic, the Lord spoke to me and the Lord said to me, Build tents. Build tents. I knew what it meant. Build tents, right? And this is not a teaching like that, so I'm not going to, you know, break all of that down, right? And one business after the other business after the other business started opening. And I'm like that. When the Lord spe um, speaks to me, I'm ready. I'm ready, yeah? For the most part, I'm ready, all right? And uh, so I began to flow. I began to flow. But one of the things that I knew in my Noah, yeah, I knew it in my Noah that what I was doing wasn't just for me. I knew that the path that I was on in terms of entrepreneurship was for me to learn and grow so that others can learn and grow. I knew it. So, 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 so I did it and I'm doing it and I'm learning and I'm growing, but my, my end game is to release it to others. And that is what happens when you are financially secure. You now are empowered to empower others. When you become financially stable, and move on to the point where you are financially free, you can empower the next generation of women and men. Yes? You can empower your children, your, your nieces, your nephews. And I'm just keeping it close. So I'm keeping it in the family. I'm keeping it in the family. But by no means, that's not, you know, just your, 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 your space, your domain. The world is yours. The world is yours. It's your platform. You see what I'm saying? Yes. But women, women who have higher incomes, they serve as a positive role model for future generation. May you be such a role model. May you be such a role model for future generation, for the future girls, for the future young women that are coming. May you be a role model, someone that they could look up to and say, I want to be like her. I want to be like auntie. I want to be like, like, like granny. I want to be like mommy. I want to be like her. Because here's the point, here's the point. If you can be a role model, if you can empower your sister, your daughter, your granddaughter, empower your nieces, your nephews, their brother, let me tell you something, they are going to surpass you because they don't have to start from the beginning like you have had to start from the beginning. Like I have had to start. They don't, they're starting here. Whereas you started here, they are starting here. And this is what we want. We're always starting over. And we need to stop that where every generation is always starting over. We need to stop it because we are the only group of people that it seems like we all, every generation has to start from the bottom. We need to take charge of that and 
listen, when you when you take responsibility for you, it's amazing how when you do a good job or a good enough job at taking responsibility for you and doing the things that you need to do, or that becomes a platform for others to launch from. So you're not even trying to really, you know, uh, be a role model. So you could, you just, just be, be who you're supposed to be. Be the financially secure woman that you are supposed to be. Be the financially stable woman that you are supposed to be. Be the financially free woman that you are supposed to be. And it will amaze you. It may even shock you. How your nieces, your nephews, your daughters, how they will just boom. Because it's, it's success. Success leaves tracks. Success is not, it's, it's not, it's not a secret. It's not a mystery. It is not a mystery. You see what I'm saying? And so, and the thing about successful people is that a truly successful person wants others to succeed. So they'll, they'll share with you. If you ask any successful person, tell me, I want to know how you started, they'll tell you. I want to know what you do. What, is, what does your day look like? Yeah, they'll tell you. You see what I'm saying? They'll, you know one of the things they tell you? They get up very early in the morning. <laughs> they tell you they have a morning routine. Mm -hmm. They'll tell you they have breakfast. They'll, you know one other thing they'll tell you? They go to bed early at night. They don't sit binge watching um, African movies till 2, 3 o'clock in the morning when they have to get up to go to work the next day. Successful people don't do them things. Anyhow, let me move on. <laughs> Somebody put it in the chat. Move on. Move on. Move it along. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I, I want a little sad. I went a little off there, but I'm back on track now. Then the, the last one. Number 10. Number 10. Reason why you need to make more money is uh, for social and political influence, not just spiritual influence. But for social and political influence, and I'm going to show you in the Bible in a few minutes, women who had social and political influence in their day, right in your Bible that you've been reach, reading. Yeah? Now, economic empowerment can translate into greater social and political empowerment for women. Yes? And let me tell you... Um, it's amazing. It's amazing. I don't want to get political because really, let me just let me just leave that out for now. For now. Okay. Because maybe I can't leave it out. <laughs> maybe I just cannot leave it out. All right. Because it's for me personally, when you have all right, let me let me let me let me let me change my my language here. Women know women's issues more than anyone else. We know our struggles. So when you have persons who don't know about your struggles, making laws for you, we have a problem. Just imagine, just imagine um, males making bras, brasier, right? For women. They ain't got no bras. How, 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 how are they going to know all of these things? The best person to make bras for women would be women. That's all. So that's the that's 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 what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. So we need women as lawmakers. We need women in the political arena. Yes. Yeah, so when we have women issues that uh, governments and systems need to 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 speak to, we can have a voice. We can be properly represented. Yes. Yes. Okay. We need to be properly 
represented politically, socially, spiritually. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So I'm saying that's why the you know, as a pastor, people, I don't, people can say what they want and, and come to the place that that's their problem, not mine. <laughs> Whatever people thinking, that's theirs. Not that's not that's not going on in here at all. And I mean, I'm not even trying to get it in my head because that should stay there, right there. You see what I'm saying? And so here's the point. Here's the point. When as women, we are making more money, yes, uh, then that could translate to greater social, spiritual, and political influence. And where we are able to advocate for women's rights and women's interests in the various spheres of our society. And that's a wrap, yes, for the 10 reasons why you should make more money, why you should be financially free, why you should be financially secure. All right, great. Let me go. I have now, I'm going to give you some advice. Okay, I promise you this, that will empower you. Yeah, women, I know we have some men on as well. Please feel free to take whatever comes home to you. All right. But we talked about some of this last week and I'm going to talk about it again. And whenever I have an opportunity to speak to it again, I will because we just need to hear it. I want to be a voice of um, encouragement to you. I want to be a voice that challenges you. And I want to be a voice that just speaks to your heart speak to your heart yes to cause you to just awaken to the reality of all that you are all that you are you see what i'm saying you are the creme de la creme of god's creation yeah yes you are here yeah you are here i'm i'm telling you i'm telling you yes uh, 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 and so you need to just receive who you are and do not take your cues from society do not take your cues from society i know what i'm telling you take your cue from your god yeah Take your cue from God. Stand on who he says you are. Yeah? Stand on who he says you are. Not, I'm telling you, please, I beg you, yeah? Take your cues from who God says you are, all right? And begin to walk in the path that he has set for you. The ancient paths, yeah, that are proven, yeah, to be successful if you walk in them. All right, good. So let me give you some tailored advice for women right to help you achieve financial independence and security now if you're if this has been helping you so far somebody say so far so good come on so far so good so far so good yeah so far so good <laughs> great i'm loving the chat i'm loving the chat let's go great so far, so good. Yolanda Amoroso. I love you. I don't know who Yolanda is, but I love, I'm in love with Yolanda tonight. Yolanda, you my girl tonight. Yolanda Amoroso. Ooh. So far, so good. So far, so good. Am I helping you? Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Let's go into some of the advice, some financial advice. No, I'm not a financial advisor. I know a little bit, a bit about it, okay? I can guide you, all right? So if you need any guidance, uh, you want to talk to me after, you connect, and I will point you in the right direction. There are some things that I can help with, uh, and uh, but when it comes to investing in here and investing in there, I can just tell you, you could invest here, you could invest there, but to do the actual investing, you will need to connect with such person and such person, all right? So here's the point. Let's get into it. So one of the first things that you can do, yes, is invest. Last week I talked, I spoke to you about this, invest in yourself. So in, when I say invest in yourself, here, as we're talking about financial freedom, invest in financial education. Last week, I showed you this book. I don't know how many of you got it. If you got this book, I showed it to you last week. I will teach you to be rich. Just drop it in the chat. I got it. It doesn't matter. This is not about shaming or anything. If you didn't get it, that's fine. I just want to know how many of you actually got it. If you, if you got it, if you got it, one person said she got it so far. Fantastic. You can, it's not running, it's not going anywhere. It's gonna be there. It's on it's on uh Amazon. You can go on Amazon and get it. The name of the book is I Will Teach You to Be Rich by Ramit 
Seth. S-E-T-H-I, maybe Sethi, I'm not too sure how to pronounce it, but it's a fantastic book. I have several books, yeah? I have several books that I have read on money. Think and Grow Rich, I've read it. I've read Rich Dad, Poor Dad, yes? Oh my goodness, and a whole host of other books, yes? Um... Uh, I read a book. I bought a book on the stock market that I that just that book just beat me. I mean, I don't think I got past <laughs> chapter one. And they start talking about the bulls and the bears. Listen to me. That book beat me to a pulp. But you know what? I think I'm gonna go back. I, I think I probably have it on my shelf and find because I think now I'm a little more financially savvy. I can I can understand what they say. Cause I'm like that. I I I, am a, I can be ahead of my time because that's a prophetic. I can be ahead of my season. I wrote a book in 2014 and the Lord says to me, that book is for now. That book was before its time. So now I read the book and I, I cannot believe I wrote this book. I cannot believe I said these things in this book. And everything is now making sense. Okay. Obviously I've grown. All right. So here's the thing. You got it. Sharon got it. All right. Yolanda. Uh, Yolanda Amoroso. You got it. Fantastic. So get this book. It is just such practical, you know, things in this book that we can do. Yes, not necessarily all of them, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's going to help you. So the first thing you want to do is invest in financial education. Take the time to educate yourself about personal finance, yeah, including conscious spending, saving, investing, and managing debt so that no one could hoodwink you. No one could come and tell you, oh, come and be a part of the susu and rob you of your money. No man, no one could come. You will be able to, you will know what a pyramid scheme is. You will, let me, ladies and gentlemen, educate yourself. So anyone who comes to you with some scheme, you won't fall prey to it. Online schemes. Huh? Ladies, please, please, please. I beg, I beg you. I beg you. Okay? There are many, many resources available. There are books. Some of us say we don't like to read. Okay? No problem if you don't like to read. I'm a reader. I'm an avid reader. I love reading. I encourage reading. Reading is the fastest way to learn. Okay? But now we have audio books. And let me go back to the reading part because a lot of people say they don't like to read. It is not true of yourself. It is not true of yourself. You on social media, you're reading all day long. You are reading all day long. All of the scrolling, you are reading. And every time you reach somebody's page, you are reading. You're reading all day long. So we love to read. You do love to read. So you need to start reframing that. I love to read. I love, I absolutely love to read. Uh -huh. That's right. So here's the thing. Grab a book, grab an audio book, grab an e-book. If you don't need, you don't have to have the physical book. You can, I love physical books. It's depending on the kind of book. If it's a novel, if I'm going on vacation and I'm just buying a book to just sit on the beach and read and entertain myself, you know, um, because... I'm not a TV person. I don't watch TV from time to time, but it's not my thing, right? Except it's HGTV or something that I'm learning. I'm, I'm a learner. If I'm looking at something, I'm learning. You know, if I'm looking at a show, I'm learning. If I'm never learning anything from it, I'm not interested in it. You see what I'm saying? So grab a book. I like my hard book copy because I like to underline. I get very intimate with my book. When something is good, I say, this is good. or oh, this is awesome. I see something that I can use maybe in my teaching, my preaching, my seminars or whatever. I say, oh, I can use this. I highlight it. I underline it. I make sure that when I open up the book, it jumps out at me. So I don't have to be looking, scrolling through the whole book for it. You understand what I'm saying? And so listen, listen, educate, spend the money. Spend the money. I remember I was looking for a book and the only copy I could have put my hand on, I think it was $98 for it. I bought it. I bought it. It was $98 for the book. I bought it. It's not too expensive. When you are educating yourself, it cannot be too expensive because you are worth it. Come on, somebody say, I am worth it. Invest in your education. 
first, one of the things you want to do so that no one could pull the wool over your eye and tell you you need to invest in this. No, 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 no. You know, you no, 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 no. You see what I'm saying? Be, 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 be a little financially savvy. So you, you know, ask, when you're asking persons, uh, you know, what they're investing and they're telling you, at least you have an idea. As an old friend of mine would say, an idea. You need an idea of what they're talking about. Of what you're talking about yes okay so that you you're not going down a road and you cluelessly you know invest in your little bit of money that you have to lose it no we don't invest to lose our investment we invest again on our investment so you need to be educated all right attend seminars attend workshops take a course Take a fall. A course. I did um well, I was actually going to launch a course on entrepreneurial success, the blue uh, the blueprint for entrepreneurial success. And uh, when the Lord just shifted me, but that is a course that will come down because already prepared. Okay, that's a course that will come down the road sometime, maybe next day or something, God willing. But what I'm saying is you must be prepared to invest in your financial education. And to be sad, there are a lot of free ladies, my ladies, there's no reason for this. There's no excuse for this, all right? If you're hearing this for the first time, let me tell you something. Take a hold of it and implement it in your life. Start looking at some YouTube videos for free. Search the internet, put some blog in, yes, and uh, um, start reading. Here's the thing. If you, are, if you are a solid Christian, you see this book right here? Oh, I wrote a book some years ago from poverty to prosperity. It's loaded with financial principles. Loaded with financial principles. And the Bible doesn't leave anything out. I promise you. Does not leave anything out. The Bible even talks about co-signing for a loan. So never do it. Never co-sign a loan. Why? <laughs> You know why? Doesn't matter who comes and asks you. Oh, the, the, I need a co-signer. There's a reason why he needs a co-signer. There's a reason why she needs a co-signer. Because they can't afford to pay. You won't have to pay. The Bible says don't do it. Do not do it. You, you, you know what I'm saying? This book, it's loading. Financial principles, loading. Then you have other books that can supplement the word of God in your life. You can't go wrong with the word of God. You cannot, can I say, you cannot go wrong with the word of God. So invest in your financial education. Educate yourself. You go through Google um, um, Bible verses on money. Bible verses on financial uh, uh, um, instructions, counsel. Solomon has a whole bunch of them. Listen, start there if that's where you need to start. If you need to start somewhere, you already have the book, man. You already have the book. You don't need to buy it. You already have it. Start it and then branch off into other books. Okay? Read it. Read it. Educate yourself. Number two, Number two, right? I'm giving you, I'm giving you strategies now for financial independence. Strategies. Strategy number two, set clear financial goals. Set clear. Yeah. I did a, a, a training at the beginning of the year on uh, 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 pursuing your professional and personal goals. Uh, I, I told you that I have, uh, uh, um, I'm going to be offering that uh, same training that I did, this time it's going to cost you, but it's going to be worth it. And it's not going to be a lot, but it's going to be worth it. How to set smart goals, uh, why you shouldn't, and it's just loaded. All right? Here's the point. Here's the point. Yes? You need to define your financial goals. Yes? Whether they're short-term short, the short -term goals, the long-term goals, and create a plan to achieve them. Yes, and whether it's saving, um, and always remember when you are saving money, it's not just money that you have sitting in the bank with nothing to do. You must always give your money an assignment. I am saving for a house, I am saving for a car, I am saving for a, a, a vacation, a trip, I am saving um for um for my hair. I am saving, <laughs> I am saving for a new wardrobe. I always uh, assign something. Oh, I'm saving for an investment, right? This is my investment money. I'm saving for uh, uh, to give to the church, right? This is my building fund money. This is my what? 
whatever you understand my missions money whatever always save on purpose for a purpose so you be you be intentional about it right and uh, you want to you want to be deliberate about it all right and be specific about it maybe you're saving for your retirement yeah if you're saving for your retirement then that's your retirement savings Yes, have a clear objective because a clear objective will keep you focused and motivated. Well, let me say that again if I can. Yeah, should I? Must I? Can I? Yes, a clear objective. Yeah. Yes, Lisa Amoroso. <laughs> yes, a clear objective will keep you focused and motivated. I love it. I love it. Come on, somebody. Uh, uh, Anthony, make sure you catch that one for me. All right? Fantastic. I love it. I love it. Lisa Amaruso. Yes. Watch this. Next one. Next strategy. Seek to build multiple streams of income. I'm, 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 I want to stick my neck out here. I hope I don't get it cut off that 95% of us on this live tonight have heard about multiple streams of income. We have heard about multiple streams of income. Women, my sisters, please. I know you are working, you have a salary, but that's just one. That's just one, okay? Please, I beg you. Yeah, I'm, 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 I, I want to say, I, I want to say like Apostle Paul, I beseech you. By the mercies of God, get more than one stream of income. More than one stream of income. If you are going to be, look, um, I saw a post, I think it was on social media, Facebook, something to the effect, don't quote me on it, that your salary is what your boss pays you or something like that to get you addicted so that you stay there. Interested. I don't really pay. I just saw it in passing. But maybe if I sit again, I pay more attention to it. Your salary is just what your boss pays you to get you addicted. So you keep coming back every week. You're working so you can get it. It's like a drug. It's like a drug. You need more than one stream of income. And that's a wrap. Okay? So begin to educate yourself. Yeah? And position yourself. Yeah, either to step out into real estate, step out into starting your own business. You understand? Look, doing having a side hustle or something. Do something that will generate. If you're gonna need more money, I help. I was helping someone with a financial. Um, um, they were in a financial bind and said, "Okay, come, let's sit, let's talk, let's see what's happening." So let's look at. We were doing budgeting, and you know, let's look at. Your income, your expenditure. Turns out she was spending more than she was making. So obviously credit cards were in play. All right. So here's the point. Here's the point. If you if you are making a certain amount and you are spending more than that, two things would have to happen. Either you start spending less or you start making more. Either you start spending less or you start making more. Because that is not going to change by itself. Okay? You're making what you're making and you're spending what you're spending. Right? So if that's going to change, if your situation is going to change, something has to change. And it can either change on the spending side or it can change on the making side. You see what I'm saying? Here's the point. Multiple streams of income. Yes? Uh, somebody put in the, in the, in the chat, M. SI, MSI, MSI. Let's go. MSI. As many persons as possible. Come on, drop it in there. MSI. Hey, Lisa Amaroso. MSI. Michelle. MSI. Rhonda. MSI. Uh, uh, Cheryl. MSI. Roxanne. MSI. That's it. Cheryl for MSI. Call Bertha. MSI. That's it. Lisa Amaroso. MSI. <laughs> MSI, Denise, MSI, Nicole, MSI, Sharon, MSI, Shalana, MSI, Monica, MSI, Teselka, MSI. That's what we're talking about. Malcolm, multiple streams and sources. Oh my God. Multiple streams of and sources of income. Okay. You, not she, but you wanted to be M. SSI, MSSI, multiple streams of income or multiple sources of income, SMSI, 
okay? So here's the point, all right? Explore opportunities to diversify your income sources. Start a side hustle. Do freelance work. Do freelance work. Many of you are on, 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 on um, social media. Social media is not just to be on there just so that you can, you know, find out what's going on with people, okay? Uh, please, I'm, 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 I'm spending this time with you tonight. There are so many opportunities that we see where you can make passive income, and they sh actually show you how to do it. They're not doing it for you. You are doing it for yourself. Then do it. You just, of course, you have a computer. You have a computer. You have a computer. Do it. Your passive income, you can make. You set it. You forget it. Yeah. Some of you are skilled. You can, you on Canva all the time. Do the thing. Do the thing. I'm now learning Canva and I'm loving it. I love me some Canva. Oh my Jesus. I, I, I love, when I tell you I love, and they're not paying me to say this. They probably, I should probably get some money for it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Add another stream of ink. <laughs> Add another stream of it. I love me some Canva. Are you, are you understanding that? Do the thing. You can do it. Some of you are so skilled in this thing. Don't sit and don't make money for it. Yeah, let it be a stream of income for you. Yes, make the thing, post it somewhere, put it on uh, Amazon somewhere, put it wherever. Uh, 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 uh. Make the journal. I just, I just did a journal by myself. We're having a, a a retreat coming up. Yes, and I did a whole journal on Canva. On Canva, hello, that could sell on Amazon. I will. I will watch me. Watch me have a journal. Let me write it down. Watch me put journals on Amazon for sale. Watch me. Because you just do it and you set it and you 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 walk away and the and and whenever you generate it just comes in. You see what I'm saying? Listen, here's the point. Start a side hustle, freelance, uh, invest in a rental property. Who am I talking to? Invest in a rental property. Invest in a rental property. This is for somebody. I, 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 it's a prophetic word. Invest in a rental property. Yes. 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 Okay. Multiple streams of income will can and will provide stability and resilience in times of economic uncertainty. That's for you. Next one, I'm giving you strategies tonight. Um, this one is kind of like obvious, but I'm going to say it again. We talked about it up top with reasons why you should make more money. But there we go. Negotiate for equal pay. If that's your situation, negotiate for equal pay. Nego negotiate for better benefits. Don't be afraid to advocate for yourself. <clears throat> Do not be afraid. Let your confidence rise. You deserve it. You are worth it. You see what I'm saying? Yes. And that's it. You have to do your homework. You have to do your homework. You have to research your companies that you are working with. You have to get behind the scenes. You have to get into the company before you get into the company. Ooh. Ooh. That's too good. Ooh. You have to get into the company before you get into the company. We're just walking, you don't even know what you're walking into. We don't do that anymore, honey. We don't do that anymore. Before you get up in there, you research them. I have a son-in-law. He's not easy. Let me tell you something about my son-in-law. Let me tell you something. <laughs> you know, he's, he's a piece of work. Let me tell you something. He research everything. He knows everything. He go all the way to corporate, all the way to the top. All the way he go to the top. If he come to that, if he come to that, 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 that uh, mom and pop, well, not the mom and pop, if he go into any establishment and things not right, he's, go, he's going to cooperate. He's going to the top. That's how you need to operate. You need to know about the company that's hiring you. You need to know about the business practices. You know, you need to know the treat the workers right. Some companies should, you should not be in business with them because they don't align with your values. They they rob people. You understand? You gotta you gotta work for places that align with your values. I understand sometimes you might be in a bind and you need to do what you need to do. But honey, when you could do what you need to do, then you need to do what you need to do. You see what I'm saying? Oh my goodness, I'm I'm too much tonight. All right, I'm moving. Okay. Woo! 
deep breaths. I told you all, I told you all it was it was that kind of night. I was, I was feeling it. Yolanda, you received the prophecy. Yolanda Amarosa. <laughs> Receive it, daughter. Receive it. Yeah, in the name of Jesus. All right. So here's the point. Research the companies that you're going to work for. Re research the organizations you're going to work for. Be in it before you're getting it. You see what I'm saying? So when you open your mouth at the table, you ain't know. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? They know you know some stuff. And when people know that you know, they treat you differently. I said, when people know that you know, they treat you differently. When they know that you don't know, oh, honey, trust me. You see what I'm saying? So research, research salary benchmark for your industry and your position and negotiate for fair compensations and for fair compensation and benefits. Remember that equal pay for equal work is not just a moral imperative, but also a legal right in many jurisdictions. And if some of these companies can get away with it, with you, they will. But with another person, they won't. You see what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to share a quick story. One of my daughters shared with me without, you know, compromising anybody. Let me tell you something. Uh, she was had negotiations for her salary and uh, the negotiations went however it was. And then uh, only to find out that persons who were not coming in, the company were getting much more than uh, she was getting. Because, of course, they gave up the impression and that was what, you know, the top she could have gotten and so forth, so forth. Hello. When she found out, all hell broke loose. That's my child. <laughs> That's my daughter. <laughs> All hell must break loose. They must know you ain't no fool. We have a we grew up with a saying, Tom drunk, but Tom no fool. You see what I'm saying? We smart. Yeah, I might be this and I might be a woman, but I ain't stupid. You see what I'm saying? You negotiate. You negotiate for fair pay, fair compensation, fair benefits. You ain't asking for more than anybody else. You're just asking for your fair share. See what I'm saying? And it's your legal right. And it's a moral right that you have. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Wonderful. We're doing good on time. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing good. I love it. Let me hear your comment. Let me hear what you're thinking about this. But I didn't. What do you think about what I just said? About negotiating for fair pay and benefits. Equal pay. All right, equal benefits. Researching the salary benchmark for your industry so that when you get at the table, you know exactly what you're talking about. When you say this is what I want, uh, yeah, because com most companies will ask you what you're looking for. They'll ask you what you're looking for. So before you get in there, you need to know what you're looking for, honey. My sister, you need to know what you're looking for. You need to know what they're offering. Yeah, you need to know. Yeah, so when you say it, Let's go. Let's go. Let me hear what you're saying. Fair compensation of fear and benefit. It's my moral right, Denise. That's right. It's what's mine. End of discussion, Sheba. Fantastic. Agreed, Carlene. Yes. Uh, um, um, Roxanne said, I agree totally. Uh, uh, Pastor Ronda said, yes, sir. Awesome. Sonia said, awesome advice. Thank you, Sonia. Lisa Amaras. So, yes, uh, Sharufa said, I'm thinking about paying a visit to my boss office tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. sharp. Make sure when you go, honey, you go armed to the teeth with the information, okay? You're not going to ask, you're going to share. Yes, share, okay? Fantastic. You're going to renegotiate, and if it's not time for you to renegotiate, you just hold your ground and you wait until renegotiation renego time comes, and then you make your move like a boss, boss move. We're talking about boss lady move here. Okay, fantastic. Good, Denise, and do not back down. Stand your ground. Fantastic. Thank you, Denise. That's so encouraging. Good. Wonderful. Um, um, Deborah says, I agree. Pay on time. Fantastic. Great. Uh, Monica said, I must get everything I asked for. That's right. Then he said, boss move. Yes, please. Okay. 
fantastic. Okay, great. Let's keep going. Let me give you some um some other strategies uh, so that you can you can uh, 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 achieve financial independence and financial security. Okay. Um, prioritize prioritize savings. We talked about this last week, my ladies, my sisters. We talked about this last week. Okay. Prioritize savings and emergency funds. You know, today while while I was at um negotiating for my new lens in my my glasses, I remembered the last. Usually, when I go to get my glasses. I will buy two pairs because I really do need them. And by the way, I have such a beautiful testimony. I went today for the first time. I had these glasses for four years now. Time goes by so quickly. All right. And my prescription hasn't changed for the first time in years. I've been wearing glasses since I am um, 18 years old. And every time I go, my prescription, you know, changes. For the first time, my, pres my, my, my the doctor says, your prescription has not changed. That is a miracle. Oh. Listen, I'm, I'm walking in power. I'm walking in miracles. I live a life of favor. I hope you too don't take off my um thing because I'm singing and don't charge me for copyright act. Let me stop singing on the people thing. Listen. <laughs> Let's um, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. So I always get two pairs in the event something goes wrong because I need them to at least read, and I got to read. I told you I'm an avid reader, right? So I must read. So I always get two pairs, and uh, so I, I I went. I didn't go to 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 change my glasses at all. I just went to, as I told you before, to see what was going on with the lens, and um and so. Usually, when I change my glasses, I'm talking about the last. Let me, I'm going to give you a little bit of my business, right? I'm going to give you some of my business. But remember, it's my business, not yours. It's my business. I'm sharing my business with you tonight. Okay? Okay. So, <laughs> last time I took my two pairs of glasses, it cost me over $3,000, okay, for my two pairs of glasses. And, um, Today, I'm there and I'm negotiating from $700 to my lens. That's what they want to charge me for the lens. I need $200 off. And I thought to myself, Anne-Marie, you have grown. Yeah? Because there's a shift in my mindset. You see what I'm saying? There's a shift in my mindset. So, well, I would have just caught for that money like, Nothing. Mm -mm. Something is happening on the inside. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So then there's a need to prioritize savings. And when it's a priority, that priority that you give it, then it begins to inform your spending. It informs your spending. Yes? So no longer you just spend. You see what I'm saying? Because... Things are in order. No, I value my vision. I love me some beautiful brand name glasses. See what I'm saying? But I recognize that something shifted in me today when I'm negotiating down the lens. See what I'm saying? Something that I would have never bought glasses in that place for over 20 years. And I've not once negotiated any price that they've given me. They gave me the price, I paid the people their stuff, and I walked away. Today I negotiated and I got it. Yes? Prioritize savings and emergency funds. Yes? So you make it a priority. We talked about this last week, so I'm not going to, you know, go, go, go deeply into this. But remember, when it comes to your savings, you are saving, yeah? You are investing because investing is also savings, yes? But instead of leaving your money at Chase or Citibank, where you're not going to get anything back from it, you put it into some sort of investment that will compound the interest and in the long run, you know, give you more money on what you've invested. You see what I'm saying? 
So you're saving more in the long run with investment as opposed to just having your money in a bank somewhere that's not doing anything for you. All right, good. So we talked about that last week and we also talked about conscious spending where you are spending your money on what you absolutely love and what you don't absolutely love, you don't put any money into it. So you don't just buy things because your sister bought it or because your best friend bought it. That's what they like. That's what they love. So they spend their money on a Louis Vuitton handbag. That don't mean you want to have a Louis Vuitton handbag. You see what I'm saying? You got what I'm saying? Yeah. But you love to, you love to go get your nails done and you love you love to shop at opulent isle uh you love you love to go do massages once a month that's what you love you say your friends want to travel you don't want to go on a plane you don't want to travel like that you say you prefer to go get a massage every month you know you want to prefer to go sit and 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 get somebody to do your toes and and do your thing that's what you like you 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 like wigs you know all kinds all shapes that's what you like that you that's what makes you feel good and then if that's what makes you feel good that's what you do you see what i'm saying and the things that has nothing to do with you doesn't have anything to do with you you don't spend your money on netflix because everyone else has netflix you don't watch netflix you have no interest in anything on netflix Netflix, but you have Netflix. Why? Yeah, you have HBO. Why? You watch HBO once a, a, a year, then pay for the show. Whatever the show is, is it through two ninety nine? Pay for it. Pay for it. That's only two ninety nine, as opposed to you paying every month for something that you don't use. Okay, but anyhow, let me let me just help you pay for what you love, what you love by. If that's what you love, that's what you love. You spend your money on it. If you love to travel, you save your money. You know whether you save it from you know you don't have all the fluff and all the you know you have a car just the bare minimum just to get you from here to there you don't need a luxury car to get you from here to there any car will do that but if you love cars honey see what i'm saying if you love cars hello you see what i'm saying you buy your car you buy your car you got all the bells all the whistles you like you you, 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 you take your time you see what I'm saying? If you, that's what you like that's what you like conscious spending Yes. So figure out what it is you really love. Yeah. You spend on that. And then all the other stuff, cut. All the other stuff, cut. See what I'm saying? And when you cut, then you will have, you know, you already, you already set up your savings. You already set up your investments. And then what you have, you understand? You have, you know what you're spending that on. You see what I'm saying? Fantastic. Let's go. Um... Um, invest for the future. That's something you need to think about. You're getting older. Invest for the future. Take advantage of investment opportunities to grow your wealth over time. I'm not talking about get rich quick schemes that come as this big grand investment. If you invest now, you, you know Murdoff did? Murdoff took and made, up, made off with everybody's money. Why? Because he told them they were going to get all of this money, you know, big 20, how much percent on the investment? Which part of the world were these people living? Where, 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 where? Yeah, we do, you know, our, 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 our life must be rooted in reality. In God is a spiritual thing. In reality, let me tell you something. You understand? You have, that's why I'm saying you got to invest in yourself first by being financially educated. Educate yourself financially. All right. But let me get here. Invest for the future because you want to answer questions. By the way, if you have any questions, please put it in the chat. We're coming down where well, we're going to be answering questions in a minute. And then we're going to be praying in a minute. All right. So if you have any questions, put it there. All right. So let's go and take advantage of investment. If you have 401k on your job, invest in your 401k. Yeah. If you have any kind of ret retirement funded on your job, invest in it. All right. Start minimum 10% and then take it up. Take it up. The more you invest, there are many types of 401ks. You know, sometimes your, your, your company might be matching whatever you put in. There are all kinds of things that happen. Find out about it and invest. Okay. Or IRA, that's as a a, a Roth IRA, this way you could contribute regularly um, to maximize your saving potential. Put it in there, all right? There are mutual funds, there are index funds, there are real estate. You can't go wrong with real estate. Listen to me. Based on your risk, risk tolerance, you invest. Based on your risk 
tolerance you invest some are safer some you can just put it there and you're going to take it time one one drop 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 in the basket but by the time you're ready to retire you're going to have a nicer nest air you could rest comfortable by the grace of god you know and you go you, you get your pension and you get your social security and you get whatever you need to get and you you're good you see what i'm saying because you made the investment early up all right so invest 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 all right um um okay next one seek out mentorship seek su support surround yourself with mentors and advisors a supportive network of women who can offer guidance and encouragement uh, like uh, like the, the, the uh, uh our monday night live and our coaching family you come here and you you're gonna get support you're gonna get encouragement you're gonna get guidance okay so seek out mentors and and supportive networks like this okay where you can glean and learn valuable insights to help you navigate the financial landscape okay you can learn from other people's experiences and leverage their expertise to accelerate your own journey towards financial independence and i love that i love it i love that leverage their expertise to accelerate your own journey towards financial independence i just see someone just sorry you just took off right there that was your Key. that was your cue to take off all right let me keep going all right practice self-care you didn't think that had anything to do with money yeah oh it does have a lot it does have a lot to do with money yeah remember we talked last week or the week before about uh, there's this quote uh where we we spend the first 50 years of our lives uh, all right making money and then the rest of our lives uh, spending the money we make to re re recoup or re re regain the health we've lost while we were making the money may that never be a portion somebody's put in the chat not me 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 practice self care come on say not me not me practice it is it's something you must practice self-care and well-being right you must understand. Thank you, Sonia. Erica, not me. Kali, not me. Colberta, not me. That's right. Lisa Amoroso, not me, not me, not me. Being financially, I'm going to say something powerful. My sisters, listen. Being financially free or secure is not just about money. It's also about your physical your mental and your emotional well-being. What, 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 what if 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 you're not well enough to spend the money? What you see what I'm saying? So you gotta take care of yourself. Yes? Prioritize you. Manage your stress. Practice. Being present in the moment, enjoying your life. Don't. All right. Let me calm down. I'm going to calm down. I hear you. Let, let me calm down. I'm going to calm down. I will. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Listen, my ladies. Ladies. <laughs> Do you know how many people have worked super, super hard? They didn't go on vacation. I know people work seven days a week, especially in this US of A, in this America here. Okay? And they work so hard. They didn't take vacation. They didn't do the nails. They didn't do massage. They didn't go out for dinner. They didn't go out with their friends and laughed and had a good time. They, they were too busy working. They were too busy building the house. They were too busy planning for when they retire. They are going to go on cruises. And when they retire, they're going to work hard now. And when they retire, they postponed their life. And they never got there. Take care of yourself. Please, I beg you, take care of yourself. Live your life. 
Let me hear what you're saying. Enjoy the labor of your hands. Thank you, Miss Monica. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Miss Monica. <laughs> Sarah, I'm calm, I'm calm. Denise, enjoy your life. Miss Denise, enjoy your life. Take some time out from your busy schedule or based on where you're from, schedule. Take some time from your busy schedule to laugh, have fun, go out. Yeah, go on the beach. Yeah, let some sand get between your toes. Let the wind blow in your hair. And it doesn't matter if it's a weave, it's yours. I'm telling you, enjoy the journey. Don't just wait for the destination. Yes, uh, the destination is beautiful, but you got to enjoy the journey. That's what you want. Enjoy the journey. Jamaica is in the house. Who's coming? She was ready to go to Jamaica. Book the trip. Yes, it doesn't cost much. Listen, listen. Somebody said the gravy was their vacation. Well, yeah, I'm going on a cruise. Oh, that's right. Enjoy it. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the journey. Please, I beg you, oh, please. All right? So practice to take care of yourself. Balance, maintain a healthy work life balance work life balance okay i talk about this uh, when from a spiritual perspective you know th that same balance is needed in your walk with god yes uh, you, and I, I said uh, your worship must be the the thing that uh, that that directs your work uh, and not the other way around so people work 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 and they don't have time for worship yes but your work must flow out of your worship Yes, and it's the same thing with your money. Yes, you must take care of you. And because you are doing well, yeah, then it will flow into your financial uh, 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 goals. Uh, you find you're able to manage your finances much better. You're able to establish, set your financial goals and work towards them because you are doing well mentally and emotionally and physically. You're pumped. You're pumped. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Let's keep going. Um, Stay informed and adaptive. Stay informed and adaptive. In other words, um, be aware of the changes that are taking place in the economy. Be aware of the changes in the financial market. There are times when real estate is a buyer's market. There are times when it is a seller's market. You need to know when to buy and you need to know when to sell if you're going to sell. You see what I'm saying? So be aware. You, got, you, gotta be, you have to have your eyes on the ground, literally, right? And be adaptive and be willing to adjust your financial strategies, you know, as needed so you could align with new evolving circumstances and opportunities, okay? I'm running now. Then watch this. Another strategy, all right, that you can implement in your life uh, uh, that will bring you into financial security and financial success is just by paying it forward. As you achieve financial independence, yeah, you want to pay it forward. Pulling another woman alongside you, pulling another brother alongside you, mentoring them and supporting them as they on, get on their own journey towards empowerment uh, and knowledge and resources uh, uh, and experiences, uh, you know, as they seek to be financially free and financially secure. Help others to reach their financial potential. Help others to, to share the knowledge that you have with them. Okay, don't hold it for yourself now. Nah. Huh? Share it with others. Okay. Um, yeah, what you've learned, you know, you you and we learn um the, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Share it. You know, people will make their own decisions, but you should be willing to share. What worked, what didn't work. No, because it didn't work for me, doesn't mean it won't work for you, but at least I'll share it with you. Yeah, you might have a whole different perspective. You might have a different angle. You know, we're all different. Yeah, and so, but I'm going to give you what I have. I'm going to put the tools in your hands and, and so that you can succeed because there's enough room at the top for everybody. There's enough room for all of us. Yes, there is. There's no competition. My success doesn't take away from your success. Not one iota. 
Not one bit. We we can we there's enough room for all of us to be successful. All of us. Okay. So listen, let's pay it forward. Okay. So here's the thing. Let me get into the biblical. I'm done with my 10 strategies for you. Simple strategies, eh? But you see, that's the problem. We look for complicated things. Yeah, and I want to I, I want to encourage you. You see, complicated things, uh, those things are set by people who don't want us to succeed. Yeah, so they complicate it and they pretend it's so difficult and 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 we just oh oh we can't do it. No, these are simple things I just gave you. Simple strategies. Okay, you can do this. You can do this. Somebody say I can. Put it in the chat, please. I can do this. This is doable. This is doable starting tonight. This very moment, this is doable. Okay? Now, let me show you quickly. And my time is, yeah, my time is up. Usually this is when we're rounding up. Yeah? Um, if you have a question, please put it in the chat because we're going to be rounding up right now. Okay? Now, from the scripture, I promise you, I'm going to show you women who are spiritually, socially, and politically savvy and influenced and impacted the community in their day from the Bible, Deborah. Deborah, Judges chapter 4 and Judges chapter 5. She was a prophetess. She was a judge and a military leader in Israel. Hello. 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 Where are the Deborahs? Where are the Deborahs on this webinar? I'm calling for the Deborahs tonight. Let me tell you something, because this is something that we have sort of inherited in the church life. You know, we got to dumb down. We got to be this, you know, we got to be modest. And we got, let me tell you, and the, and the thing is, when we hear these things, we think that they're speaking to our person. They think that these things speak to our gifting. These things have nothing to do with our giftings. These things have nothing to do with our intelligence. These things have not, these are so these are um not social things um cultural things these are cultural things this, these things have to do with the culture of the day it has nothing to do with your gift it has nothing to do with your calling it has nothing to do with who god created you to be it doesn't have nothing anything to do with your personality god created you the way you are listen to me and let me tell you something you ought to be spiritually savvy you ought to be socially savvy you ought to be politically savvy they drop you in any arena you will shine i'm talking to somebody and that's how you ought to be you see what i'm saying listen to me we make church ladies feel like oh i don't let me tell you something yeah, let me tell you deborah's wake up deborah's wake up you are needed in this generation you are needed in this time you are needed in this hour Yes, you can influence your generation and the future generation to come. A new breed of women. Let me tell you something. This is not women. This is not no women liberation movement. In our, this is who we are. This. Let me tell you something. This is who God created us to be. This is who we should be. This is who we should be. Okay, you are who you are by the grace of God. And you need to be able to say it like Apostle Paul. He said it, I am who I am when they tried to, to tell him who he was. No, 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 no. I know who I am. I know who God says I Let me tell you something. I know who I am. Okay, and you ought to know who you are, right? Let me tell you something. She played such a pivotal role in Israel. A crucial role in guiding them politically and militarily what are you talking about what are you talking about she was a leader of leaders yes she was and her wisdom empowered her to lead israel to victory against their enemies and that my friend is who you are let's talk about esther esther was a jewish queen and she used a position of influence to advocate for her people. That's what I'm talking about. Use your position to advocate for those who don't have a voice. Use your position to speak to the issues that though you may not be struggling with that issue, but there are people, there are other women who are struggling with this issue. Listen to me. I went to the conference and speak, and this conference was themed... Um, 
um, broken, but not something, uh, whatever. I can't even remember the theme of the conference now. And uh, it, it, then I, I began talking about abuse and and stuff like some of the things that break us, some of the things that break us as women. And I said to the woman in that conference, listen, it's only one time you get abused by a man. If, if it's your husband, it's only one time he gets to hit you. Yes. And I said, you just, if you don't know what to do, call me. If you don't know what to do, I will tell you what to do. I'm going to help you. And I, and I said to the whole conference, hundreds of women, Hundreds of women in the conference. And I said, let me tell you something. You know, when he needs to go to work, I back up, back up in there with an 18 wheeler truck. Let me tell you something. Uh, everything is rolling out of the house. Everything is rolling out of the house. They got mad at me, but I ain't care. I still ain't care. They got mad at me for saying that. Yeah, no, because you know, we, 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 we pray. He abusing you, pray. No, 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 you don't pray. You move. You move with everything. You move with everything. But, but he learn. But you learn, either you leave woman alone or you learn how to treat woman alone. But no, 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 I'm telling you, okay, every woman, you think they move with everything. At some point, something will click. I don't know, but that's not my problem. You see what I'm saying? Yes, 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 yes. Because we love these kinds of abusive things and society and the culture, the kind of, kind of, uh, uh, um, they, they prepare us for abuse. Huh? They groom us to be abused. No, 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 there's no grooming here. No grooming here. No grooming here. Okay, ladies, my sisters, my sister, I told you tonight was a little different. I know I'm a little extra tonight. I have no problem to being extra. Absolutely none. <laughs> none whatsoever. Okay, no, we will not be groomed for abuse. We will not be groomed for poverty. We will not be groomed for neglect. We will not be groomed for infidelity. We will not be groomed for it. We will not be grooming our daughters for it. We will not be grooming our younger sisters and the younger generations for it. No, it is unacceptable. Unacceptable behavior. We will not accept it. If you do it, we will be, you will, you will be alone. We will leave. We will leave. We'll pray after. The book of Esther. <laughs> Esther used the position of influence to advocate for her people and prevent their extermination. She displayed courage and political savvy. The woman was boss. <laughs> yeah. Boss. I, just get, I get excited when I read the Bible. I get excited when I see women just rise to the occasion. Yes. And I see how she 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 prayed and she fasted and she goes before the king. And when the king says, I'm going to give you all of the kingdom, all she says, all I want from you, king, is to have dinner with you and invite him, man. Ah. What a wise woman, sweet woman, yeah. But the hey man was clueless. Hey man was clueless, yeah. That's what the Bible tells us. We must be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. In that moment, she was wise, but then he hung himself. Some people, you don't have to hang them. They will hang themselves. You just need to be wise. Can I say that again? I said, for some people, you don't need to hang them. They will hang themselves, but you need to be wise. You need to be wise spiritually. You need to be wise socially. You need to be wise politically and all the other alleys. All the other alleys. Emotionally, you need to be wise. Mentally, you need to be wise. Psychologically, you need to be wise. If it's an alley, you need to be wise. Okay? Let's go. Ruth. Ruth. Don't know Ruth is my girl. Ruth is my girl. They're all my girls. <laughs> all my sisters. I claim all of them. They are all mine. Yes? Ruth was a Moabite woman who demonstrated economic empowerment. Through her hard work, her work ethic was on par. Let me tell you, when Moa, when uh, uh, Boaz walked in that field and said, who is that girl? They reported how she worked from morning to evening. She just took a little break. Excellent work ethic. She was so amazing in her work that she could not be 
go on notice. They had to take notice. That's what I'm talking to you on your job. You can't be going to work late, Candy. Let me tell you something. We Anyhow, we, we, we passed that already. Let's keep going. Despite her challenges as a widow and a foreigner, Ruth showed resilience. What am I talking to? And determination. She provided for herself. She went out. She said, mother-in-law, you stay. I'm going to go and work. And I'm going to bring home the bacon. Don't tell me that a woman ain't supposed to work. It's in our Bible that we read every day and we're supposed to read every day. And it is for our learning and it's for our instruction. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. She went home and she brought home the bacon. Listen to me. She provided for herself and her mother-in-law and her dedication and her loyalty to her mother-in-law not only gave her favor with her mother-in-law, but favor with Boaz, a wealthy landowner, and it, it ultimately secured her economic well-being. She made it with the multimillionaire. Mm, let me move on. Let me move on. Yeah, Lydia. Lydia in Acts chapter 16, verse 11 to 15, was a businesswoman and a prominent. Some even, some even said she was an apostle. Yes, a, a seller of purple cloth and was very affluent and financially independent. Yes, she got converted. Yes, and she, listen to me, she was, she was amazing in Paul's ministry. Yes, and all of Paul's uh, companions and in the churches that Apostle Paul planted, she had social leadership and she had spiritual leadership with her community. Huh? Yes, yes, it's in our Bible. Girls won't joke it. This girl won't just go to church on Sunday mornings. These girls were bad. Bad, 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 bad girls. Yes, complain. They sitting down there. No, 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 no. They were highly respected. They were highly respected. They were highly influential. They were well known. You see what I'm saying? Yes, they were. And they was they loved the Lord. They loved Jesus. You don't have to compromise. You don't have to choose. You don't have to choose. Do you know you don't have to choose? You see what I'm saying? You 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 highly influential, politically savvy. Yes, love the Lord. Hallelujah. Love the people of God. Love the church. Will give anything, will do anything. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, yeah. It's not one or the other. It's like sometimes, you know. Some people get saved and it's like, what happened? You're not the same. What happened? What happened to you? what happened to your brain? You left it. You left it in the kingdom of darkness. It's needed in the kingdom of light. Your, your brain is needed over here. Yes. Sometimes I'm like, what happened to you? You used to be God. That's why God called you. He needs. He needs that in His kingdom. Just, just as you are, He needs you. He needs your intelligence. He need you. He need your street smartness. He needs. He needs it in the kingdom. Don't leave it. Don't leave it in the kingdom of darkness. The kingdom of darkness must be bankrupt. There must be no resources. There must be no intelligence. There must be nothing to bring it over. Let's go. Bring it over. All right, Priscilla, an apostle, along with her husband Aquila, they were tent makers and key figures. Yeah, in the early church. They were partners in ministry with Apostle Paul. They, were, they had churches. Yeah, they had a church in their home. Yes, and they were instructing Apollos. Yeah, they were Christian leaders. These people, these people, these people were, were sharp, influ, in, influential people within their community. So I'm saying this to say to you, women. Yes, sir. Yet you and I, we must begin to walk in this level, okay? Begin to push, yeah, by the grace of God to rise into positions of influence and affluence, not just spiritually, yes, but socially, in your communities, yes, also politically, yes? We need people like you in the lawmaking realm. We need people like you who would advocate for the disadvantage for the socially uh, uh, rejected in society. 
Yes, we need people like you, yes, sir, who will challenge the traditional gender roles in society, challenge the gender gap, challenge it, yes, and make significant contributions, yes, to our communities, whether it's a church or surrounding neighboring communities, and to society at large, all right? Okay, ladies, can we do this? Can we do this? Yes. Yes, everybody drop a yes. Drop a yes. Drop a yes. Drop a yes. Yes, yes. We're having questions. Let me see. There are no questions in the Q&A. All right. Uh, no questions in the Q&A. I have some questions, but I feel like, I feel like, uh, I'm a little betwixt and between because of the time we've over, um, run our time. Um, so I want to pray. I want to pray. At least let me pray. And then I'm going to um, ask, uh, I have some questions up. Yes, we can. Let me, I love the yes, we can. Lisa Amoroso. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, yes. Erica says yes. Carly says yes. Cheryl says yes. Come on, Sharufa. Yes. Monica says yes. Lorna, yes, 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 we can. All right. Listen. So I'm going to pray. Let's pray together. And then... Um, um, I'm going to answer two questions. I thought uh, two questions were really, really good that came in and that will help. So I'm going to pray. And if you've got to go, then by all means go. Yeah. But if you want to stay for the questions and answers, stick around. It will, won't be long. Yes. And then we're going to end for the night. But remember, we always leave with uh, what you're leaving with. One thing that you're leaving with tonight. So prepare that and get ready to drop it in the chat. I'm going to read it out loud. All right, so let's pray. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you tonight and our hearts are filled with gratitude for the gifts and the talents you have bestowed upon us as women and men. Lord, as Christian women, we aspire to make a difference in this world. Lord, help us to make a difference in the world of business and economics. In our societies, Lord, help us to make a difference politically. We seek your guidance tonight. We seek your wisdom. We seek your strength. Lord, grant us the courage to step boldly into the opportunities you place before us. Knowing that you have equipped us with everything we need to succeed. Help us to recognize our worth and value as your beloved daughters, created in your image, with your unique abilities and insights to offer. Lord, remove any barrier or obstacles that may stand in our way, whether there be external challenges or doubts within our own minds, Fill us with the confidence and the resilience we need to overcome adversity and press forward with determination and perseverance. Lord, guide us. Holy Spirit, guide us in all our endeavors. Oh, that we will conduct ourselves with integrity, with honesty and compassion. Give us discernment to make wise decisions. Discerning the financial parts that align with your will and lead to greater fulfillment and prosperity. Father, we lift up every dream and every vision, every goal before you tonight. And we trust that you have plans to prosper us and not harm us, as your word says. Plans to give us a hope and a future. Help us to be steward of the resources and the opportunities you entrust to us for the advancement of your kingdom and the betterment of our society. Bless our efforts, Lord. Bless every business, Lord. Bless every stream of income, Lord. Bless every career, Lord. Bless every job, Father. Bless every woman, every man, oh God. Oh God, and multiply our impact beyond what we can imagine. Supernaturally increase and advance us, oh God. Open doors that we never imagined could ever be open for us. Lord, and may our successor serve as a testimony to your faithfulness and grace and made inspire other women to pursue their God-given dreams 
and ambitions uh, in the mighty name of Jesus we pray and everybody say aloud amen come and say aloud amen 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 Lisa Amoroso Yolanda Amoroso oh Sharufa Deyat Randa Robinson Colberta Campbell Cheryl Ford Monique God, Thomas, Gloria, Benjamin, Sonia, McLean, Sheba, Sheba. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, Masha, Spencer, Annalisa, Denise, Toby, Joel, Lizette. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. Wow, 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 wow. We thank God for tonight. Let me just quickly. Um, there are two questions that came in that I, I, I want to, was really, really good. Okay. One was, uh, how can I increase my income to achieve financial growth? How can I achieve, how can I improve or increase my income? Sorry, to achieve financial growth. That is a very, very good question because we're talking about an income, maybe this person's on a job, right? So one thing you can consider is seeking opportunities for advancement in your current job. Yes, there may be opportunities for promotion. So check that out. Or you could acquire new skills that could lead to a higher paying position somewhere else. Okay, somewhere else. You could do freelance work. Yeah, start a side hustle, a side business uh, based on your interests or skills, uh, and that could generate some additional income. Okay, then networking with others in your field and uh, uh, and beyond can open up new opportunities for career growth and higher earnings. So those are some of the things that you can do if you want to increase uh, your income. Yes, and there is one other question that was really really good let me see if i can track it uh, um all right um okay um, how can i uh that wasn't the one let me see All right. This one had to do with yeah. What what um what should I know about managing debt to improve my financial situation? So this person wants to improve their financial situation and wants some advice on how to manage their debt, right? So I think we talked a little bit about this last week, where you want to prioritize paying off high interest debt, yeah, such as credit card balances. All right. Um. And there are two ways you can do that. There are two ways. I learned because we had a, a huge credit card debt many, many years ago that we decided to pay off. And it took us about three years to pay it off. It was over $25,000 in credit card debt. And, and my husband and I, I mean, basically it was my debt. And we just, I just took my time and paid it off in three years. All right. And what we did, there is this method um, of paying off a credit card debt it's a psychological method where you pay the smallest card and uh, so when you that one is easier to pay off so it gives you a win and it, it really motivates you so you you get that one under your belt and then you take the next one under your belt and so forth and so on that one is called the snowball method right but um, there's another way you can do it yeah you can pay off the look at all your credit card debts and uh, look for the the one that that you're paying the highest interest on and you want to pay that one off first because obviously you're paying a lot of money on that one yeah the interest rate is very high okay so you pay off that one first all right and uh, um then once you get that one off then you attack another one that the next highest one and so forth so on. that one is called the debt avalanche i just discovered that so you're coming from the top and you're coming down yes the snowball one is where you start rolling you're picking up uh momentum and as you go you go you go you start from small you get bigger you get bigger you get like a snowball and the more it rolls the bigger it gets right and you pay off um your debt that way all right you can also consider refinancing high interest loans 
Yes, if you have a very high interest loan, you can uh, negotiate, uh, refinance for lower rates, uh, and that could reduce your monthly payments uh, and your total interest paid, and you get you can save money that way as well. So you start managing your debt. Uh, you know, so my, those are some some of the things that you can do to manage your debt. I hope this helped you. All right. Uh, uh, we have more questions, but because of time, I want to honor your time. Um, let me check and see what you're taking away. I'm so excited for you. I'm so, so excited for you. But what you, before we go, we always try to um, put uh, what we're learning. And, um, and one thing that we are taking away, one thing that we're going to implement, one thing that really spoke to my heart, you know, that's what you want to drop in the chat. All right. So let me see what you say. Um, Lisa said, powerful words, Apostle. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, Calberta said, so empowering. Thank you, Apostle. You're so welcome, Calberta. Thank you. Um, Yolanda Amoroso said, thank you, Apostle. Powerful webinar. I am leaving here a stronger and more powerful, confident woman. Oh, that is so precious. Thank you, Yolanda Amoroso. Amoroso Henry. Yeah, Denise says, I must know my worth. Mm -hmm. I must create several streams of income. Invest in myself. Be a conscious saver. Yes, Denise, I'm with you all the way. Cheryl said, what impacted me is stay informed and adaptive. Be aware of changes. Beautiful, Cheryl. I'm so happy that you're taking something away and that's powerful. Erica says, I learned two things tonight. To stay informed and be adaptive. And two, to develop my skills, to be a... To, to be able to move into the next level. That's amazing. My sister, I love you. Yes, beautiful. Um, Sharufa says, reasons why I need to make more money. That's your thing, right, Sharufa? Career advancement, investing in skill development, foster economic growth, mm -hmm. MSI, and empower future generations. Yes, a clear objective will keep you focused and motivated. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Rhonda said, thank you for the wisdom nuggets. Oh, you're so welcome, Pastor Rhonda. Thank you too. Um, Livia said, seek mentorship. Mentors are amazing. Mentors are amazing. Um, you know, so Nivia, go for it because you can leverage your mentor's experience. You can leverage your mentor's knowledge. You know, you don't have to know everything, but if your mentor knows, hey, honey, is as good as you. Yeah, so you can leverage it and you don't have to start at the bottom because you have someone in your life to guide you, um, you know, where, where you're going. It's powerful. All right. Mentors are amazing people. Um, Rhonda said, I must create more streams of income. Yes, please. And thank you. Yes, ma'am. All right. And it's all within your hands. Uh, to do so. It's all within you. I'm so happy for you, Pastor uh, Lorna said, thank you, Apostle. My takeaway is to be bold. Yes, please. Uh, thank you, Lorna, too. You're very welcome. Shalana said, I'm about to put my hands to work. You go, girl. I'm all behind you 100%. Please go. The, the Lord is with you. Awesome. Awesome, Chalana. Sonia says, uh, much and uh, remind us this evening because I'm in that place of transitioning into another business. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, thank you. Lots of info. You are so, so welcome. Um, so welcome, Sonia. Uh, Michelle, my girl, um, I'm taking away self-care and saving so that I can take care of the people I love when they are alive. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my Jesus. Yes, ma'am. Yes, please. And thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, take care of yourself. Yes? Wonderful. We don't, I mean, we always find money to bury people and we can't help them when they're alive. You know, that's, that's an, an, an anomaly. Yes? Uh, yeah. All right, good. Um, Shiva says, be a boss lady. Yes, please. Negotiate all the way. Be clear. And, uh, you know, just just be the boss that you are. Yes, take it away. Take it away. <laughs> take it away, Shima. Yes. Gloria said, I thank you for motivation, motivating us tonight. I really appreciate it. Oh, you're so welcome, Gloria. Uh, you're so welcome. I, um, I'm so honored to be able to do this. Um, Shiva said, money, money, money. I'm not afraid of it. Let's do this. It's a rallying cry. Let's do this, ladies. Poverty, 
is not it at all. That's right. So that's right. Monica says, thank you for the wisdom. You're very, very wisdom. My pleasure, my pleasure, my pleasure. Awesome, awesome. Well, thank you to everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much for allowing me tonight and spending this time Monday night live with me. Listen, I think I uh, I should have on my um on my website, go on anmarialmond.com. I they should have uploaded uh, um, a new blog post uh, on unlocking financial freedom. And uh, um, I think the quite a few of the things I shared with you tonight, uh, they are on that blog post with a few extra little nuggets. You want to jump over there when you have some time, maybe tomorrow, and uh, check it out. You just go on my page and look for blog. I'll post it in a video, in a um in a email that I'll send to you so that you can just click on the link and get access to it. But if you if you want to jump ahead of me, you can go over to annemariealman.com and go under the blog um, uh, section and it should be there for you. Also, don't forget to check out our um, YouTube channel. If you haven't stopped subscribed as yet, please subscribe and uh, uh, please watch your video series on Red Flags. It's really uh, phenomenal all the way on um, uh, episode number five and it's just amazing such a learning experience uh, persons have really been blessed by it so make sure you go over there on YouTube and uh, share the video uh, leave a comment uh, and just make sure and subscribe because that's what um, I'm really looking forward to um, right now all right okay great so the, the information is in the chat about the blog post uh, uh, YouTube um, link is in the chat as well. So please uh, click on it now and you click away over to YouTube. Click away over to the blog post. Have a fantastic night. I absolutely love you all. And uh, um, next Monday night is my wedding anniversary. And um, I may not be on next Monday night. Uh, all right. Uh, but I'm going to email you and let you know. For sure. Okay. Um, so really want to be with you, but we'll see. If it's my anniversary and my hubby has plans, you're not gonna see me, honey. Okay, because that I, I gotta do some self-care. <laughs> self-care, yes. All right, but we'll talk about it. Good night, everybody. Good night. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Good night. Nothing lacking, nothing missing, nothing broken. You go, Sheba girl. Good night, too. Oh, good night. Good night, Denise. Good night, Monica. Good night, Michelle. Good night, Colberta. Good night, Cheryl. Good night. Good night. Good night, Masha. Good night. Good night. Good night, Gloria. Good night, Shalana. Good night, Lorna. Good night, Rhonda. Good night. Good night, Erica. Good night, Denise. Good night. Good night, Annalisa. Good night, Ma. Oh, Masha said good night. Good night, Sonia. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Mm, oh, gotta give it. Mm -hmm.